comes up with big plays at the big moments. They a good block by Jesse Sapolo. Touchdown, 49ers! Pinned him to his back. Where'd that airplane come from? And boom, he gets the block right there. Superman. Remember that. Well, we are incredibly grateful to be joined by two of the great, two Polynesian Football Hall of Famers, Jesse Sapolu, Troy Polamalu, also a pro football Hall of Famer, both of Samoan descent. I was there on stage with you in Canton, Ohio. I am a first generation American Samoan and proudly representing my family's lineage to America through the NFL. On that stage, in that moment, what was the power in that message to represent and announce your culture like that? I, I think growing up Samoan, being raised Samoan, uh, we represent something that's much bigger than ourselves. Uh, and not only do we represent our family, but really the culture, because our culture is uh, almost like one gigantic family. I think not only representing that, but representing all the great Polynesian Samoan athletes. So it's just really a big blessing for me just to be part of kind of that lineage and carry on uh, the heritage of what our culture represents through the NFL. In 2013, you started the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame. Why? I didn't even know we went back as 1946 yeah. with El Olotai. That surprised me. But somebody had to step up and try to get it started. And the great thing about the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame is that uh, we're reaching back and honor those who came and go and continue to support our prison stars. In a way, it brings us as a family together once a year, and that's something we're very, very proud of. Troy, you went in a few years ago, I was there. I remember your speech, and it just really seemed to reverberate when you were talking to so many people in the culture. Respect and humility are the crux of the Polynesian mentality, and my fellow Polynesian brothers have always exemplified these virtues. I'm proud to be someone. What did that mean to you? I, I feel like it was just more of a culmination of my upbringing. Uh, it's almost built within our culture to, to be team first. It's built within our culture to have almost like a military disciplined mindset. It's really just a, an upbringing that, that we're kind of raised to have uh, coming from a warrior culture. Being enshrined into the Polynesian Hall of Fame also was a, a huge blessing for my children to experience as well. I always tell them this, we've got the biggest family in the world. For them to be able to experience that and to be around all the other Polynesian players that were there and all the Polynesians that were there in support uh, was a huge blessing for my children to experience as well. Why is that so important? Because all of us have families. All of us say we respect our families. We honor the name, we wear on our backs and whatnot. But why is that such an entrenched part of the culture? Because the respect is, is immense. That's what's instilled in us. We have a foundation of understanding that wherever you go, in front of millions of people and playing Super Bowls like Troy and I did, our family name and our culture is that badge of honor that we have to maintain. I always bring up Tua when he threw that pass to win the national championship. Think about Loa trying to make up for it. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown! Alabama wins! Everybody was running around. He was being interviewed and he stopped himself and he, he said, I want to give glory to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. After we drove the ball to beat Cincinnati in Super Bowl 23, we scored with about 30 something seconds left. Back to throw Montana. Stepped up, throws. Touchdown! Everybody was running around, but all I thought about was where I came from. Faith seems to be a uniting bond. What about that element of the culture that also plays into everything you talk about? It's the one constant that is built within our culture. Everything begins and ends with prayer. And I think when you have that strong spiritual foundation and you have almost a military mindset of discipline, it's a natural progression to be a football player. So, you know, these sort of things are really uh, important because community, family is everything. Obviously, the underlying thing is having faith. How many Polynesian players in the NFL when you played, Jesse? <laughs> My first year was six. When we do scouting reports in the team meetings, I knew exactly which teams had Polynesians on it, you know. So if it's four weeks down the line, it's in the back of your mind you look forward to that game because, you know, some of the guys you didn't know, uh, it's a chance for you to introduce yourself and get to, because we have that brotherhood. We're seeing more than 70 players of Polynesian descent are in the NFL, three projected starting quarterbacks, 
Marcus Mariota, Tua Tungo Vailoa, and Zach Wilson. Yes, people don't realize that Zach Wilson is part Polynesian, was one of the Polynesian uh, players of the year. But what about not only the increased numbers, but Troy, we're seeing the skilled position players. What about just that progression, and what does that do to possibly break the dam for even more polys to be in the league? But fewer and fewer safeties, it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Talanoa. And Talanoa Hufaka scored! Touchdown! It's a great influence to, to all of the, the coaches in Hawaii that have had influence on Tua, had influence on Marcus. Football is, is, is obviously deeply embedded within our culture. And, and I think with that, though, is that we're leaders as well. And uh, I think if you just look at the role within um, Polynesia, within a team, uh, they may not be the captains, but they're somehow the foundation or the bedrock of a lot of the teams, most importantly, the cultures within the team. But you're also starting to see the influence of Polynesians as coaches right. in the NFL and, and understanding how important it is for, for them to be teachers now 